Well, thank you for having us here today. I'm Dr. Desiree Diaz. I work in simulation. So this is a simulation-based study abroad opportunity. I am your undergraduate simulation coordinator and work extensively with Dr. Anderson, who will introduce herself related to um, the graduate aspect. So Dr. Anderson is, and myself, are both certified simulation educators advanced, and that's the impetus for this program to combine an intra-professional intra perspective of undergraduates, graduates within the simulation environment. So as we look at our program, our program is going to be study away in spring 2023, and it's considered study away because it's over spring break. Our travel dates will be tentatively March 10th, Friday, through spring break, Sunday, March 19th. It is a joint trip with our undergrad nursing students, our graduate students in specifically our simulation in healthcare, as well as pre-nursing students if they meet the prerequisite requirements. You will learn together in an environment that looks at a global perspective related to simulation and teaching and learning. Our specific learning objectives for the undergraduate course, NSP 4148C, it is a global learning designated course which means you get this distinction on your transcripts at gra during graduation. Part of that requires you to meet, you will be meeting as a course prior to departure on spring break. So we'll be having a mixed method type of component where we will do some pre-trip planning, but we'll have content prior to going to the Bahamas. We'll be looking at global aspect within that man-made system of tourism that is on the Bahamas, but that does provide us some, we'll say benefits of going to the Bahamas. We will be thinking about and explaining perspectives from different types of populations. There is the populations of the tourists and how do tourists get healthcare, but then how do they intersect with the natives that are on the island? And then there is also global pack. So people from the United States that live and work <laughs> there, but they are not um, Bohemian people. And with that intersect, we'll be working with our UCF grad students, as well as the faculty of the University of Bahamas and the students of the University of Bahamas creating simulations based on the population of the Bohemian people as well as tourism. So we'll be working together, understanding both sides of that dyad. We will also um, switch over now to Dr. Anderson to talk about the graduate component. Thank you so much. So the graduate component will be done in the NGR 6771 Healthcare Simulation Practicum course. Uh, similar to what Dr. Diaz talked about, we will have some learning prior to going to the Bahamas. Uh, with this particular uh, program, we're looking at application of learning the pedagogy of simulation, uh, teaching both students and faculty about simulation. And as part of that, we'll be conducting some faculty workshops related to simulation standards, debriefing and scenario development and other needs as they identify. Here are some pictures of what we might be doing over in the Bahamas with simulation and simulation related laboratory space. Our itinerary, like Dr. Diaz talked about, is over 10 days. This is just a preliminary itinerary, but we're going to be looking at several aspects of the island, looking at tourism spots, more in the Paradise Island spot. We'll be staying there for several days um, and doing some cultural experiences like things like straw hats and some um, other types of straw activities. We'll be looking at um, downtown area of the Bahamas as well and doing some different tours as well as meeting uh, as groups with 
related to simulation, both interprofessional and intraprofessional. So we'll be working with the students and the faculty at the University of the Bahamas. And we have lots of fun, different activities scheduled throughout the week. Next slide, please. Here are some pictures of what we might see over in the Bahamas, some of the places that we're planning on going, looking at some of the caves um, and the Queen's Staircase, among other places. And I love this part of their library, which looks at success isn't just about what you accomplish in your life, it's what you inspire others to do. And as we work with the Bahamian people and the faculty and students, we'll be learning about each other. So if you are interested and the next steps, the first thing that most likely comes to your thoughts are, well, what is the cost? So we are still working on a very cost effective program for you. The range of the costs will be from 2000 to 3,500. Most likely that is our max. We are looking at a minimum of $2,000. And within that structure, Remember, that includes your programming, your lodging. We'll make it very specific as to what is included in that price point for you. Both programs are considering allowing students to get to the location on their own. That way you can decide how you get there. But stay tuned for more intricate details as we progress in this process. This study abroad and study away opportunity is not included in your course requirements. So you are required to take the course, pay for your UCF credits and your course that will appear on your transcripts. This is an extra cost or fee associated with study abroad. Everybody, um, we thank you for your interest and to find out more details as they arise and as new things come out and as we discover more things about the itineraries and the costs, please navigate to studyabroad.ucf.edu. Um, there there will be self-assessment, uh, various things that you can fill out related to getting ready for the study abroad. The study abroad 101 information session <clears throat> can be very useful to you and apply to the program of your choice. <clears throat> to find out more, there will be a study abroad fair at UCF at Memory Mall on September 22nd, Thursday from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. A few of you <clears throat> we know will have clinical during that time, but for anyone at any time who's interested in this, um, we encourage uh, all of you to stop by our offices or to send us an email uh, for more details about all of this, and we would love to speak to you. Um, but know that a lot of information, and as we know it, it will always be updated at studyabroad.ucf.edu as well. <laughs>